Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me here today for another pick a card reading. For those of you who are new to my channel, welcome in. My name is Melissa and for today's video, we are going to be answering the question, what blessings are headed your way? So we're going to keep this pretty general. I'm not asking about anything specific from a specific category. Just want to know what blessings spirit, your spirit guides, the universe has in store for you based off of your current energy that you are vibrating on. So keep in mind, you guys, these readings are general in nature. There may be some messages in today's reading that are super specific to you, while others may not be. So just go ahead and take what resonates with you. Leave behind anything that does not. If you want a more personal, in-depth reading, you can check the description box down below. I have all the details listed there on how you can book one of those. Also, keep in mind to you guys, this is not necessarily set in stone. This is not intended to be your destiny. When it comes to tarot readings that are predicting out future events, such as what blessings are happening for you in the near future, just keep in mind that depending on the actions you take and the energy that you're vibing on right now, your future outcome can change. So if you see anything predicted here for you that you wish were different or that you want to slightly tweak, <laughs> you have the full free will to do that based off of your own choices and decisions that you make. But this will hopefully give you guys a little bit of clarity around what awesome news is coming in for you guys very soon. We're also going to be getting into time frames. So I'm going to do my best to channel um, specific time frames of when you can expect these blessings to uncover themselves to you. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into our card selection. Starting here on the left, we have pile number one, which is some citrine. We have pile number two, which is some pyrite. And then pile number three, which is some praenite. Go ahead and take a deep breath. Think about your life. Think about the blessings headed your way. When you're ready, select the card or the crystal that you're feeling the most intuitively guided to. Click the timestamp down below to go ahead and fast forward to your reading. Hey there, pile number one. So if you all chose the citrine crystal, let's go ahead and see what blessings are headed your way. Please make sure that you guys stay until the end of this reading because I'm going to be pulling time frames for you as well to see when it's coming. So first, let's see what it is. I'm going to start here with the center card. And we have the message of high honor for you, number one. So this is beautiful. You're probably looking at this really confused, like this battlefield. Like how is this a blessing, right? <laughs> so essentially what the high honor is telling me, pile number one, is that this blessing that's about to present itself to you has to do with you all um, achieving something pretty major. The battlefield is about like, you know, working really hard on something, fighting for something and coming out on top, coming out with the high honors that, you know, can be earned when we work really hard to achieve something. So for many of you, I'm seeing achievement coming through. I'm seeing a big achievement coming through, like something you've been working on for a long time. Uh, for others of you, this can have to do with getting a promotion, getting some sort of recognition, maybe a raise, just some sort of like elevation in status that you have been working on for a little while. So beautiful energy. Let's go ahead and pull your tarot cards so we can get a little bit more insight here. Come back to those red ones in a minute. Okay, so what do we have? So we have the 10 of wands and then we also have the well. So yeah, pile number one, the Ten of Wands is definitely telling me that this is going to be a well-deserved, well-earned promotion or elevation in status or well-earned recognition because the Ten of Wands is all about working really hard. This is about having like the weight of the world, a lot of burdens on our shoulders. And I do feel that this high honor is your reward for your hard work that you've been putting in. We also have here the message of the well. So the well, this is kind of a, an extra major arcana card that's found within this specific tarot deck that I'm working with. This has to do with opportunities and specifically it has to do with creative opportunities. So I do feel that this high honor that's coming through for you, pile number one, is going to result in a way for you to really be creative. I do feel that this is something that's going to be 
like very transformative for you, something that's going to result in you all being able to maybe birth some new ideas. So you're definitely transitioning into something with this high honor. You're transitioning over into something new, something more elevated, um, something that will help you to sort of like release <laughs> the burden of the 10 of wands and be able to flow a little bit more freely in your creativity and flow in the passion, excuse me, the passions that you have. Let's go ahead and tap into these two cards right here. Okay, so we have the message of safe home and we also have the message of study. So study is telling me pile number one, again, this is something that you all have been working toward for a little while. I also do think that whenever you get this recognition, whatever this elevation and status is, this is going to be possibly a learning opportunity for you as well. Like if you all are uh, moving into something new, there's going to be you know, a period where you're learning, you're studying, you're learning the ropes, so to speak, you're expanding in your knowledge that you're, you know, better acclimating to the new promotion or position that you're moving into here. Um, but for a lot of you, I do feel the study is showing me that this is something you all have been working towards. Maybe some of you guys are like graduating from school, graduating from college. Maybe some of you guys out there are getting certified in something that's going to help you guys elevate your status. Um, something along those lines, or maybe for a few of you, this is the realization that it's time now to elevate your own status and, you know, get some sort of certification under your belt so that you're better able to elevate. We also have the message here too of the safe home. So I do feel that this blessing that's coming through for you, pile one, is going to help you within your, how do I say it? Like your, your safety, your security, maybe like your home life has felt a little bit rocky as you're viewing this or unstable at this time. But I do feel that this elevation in status is going to bring you kind of that safety and that security that you need in just your home life where you physically live. Um, for others of you, I do feel the safe home is speaking to a foundation that you could be building here as well through this elevation in status. So I do think that through studying, through propell propelling yourself and advancing yourself forward, this is kind of like laying down the foundation for you to birth this new creative idea or this creativity that you have swelling within you. So really awesome pile number one. Let's kind of keep going and see what other messages we have. So we have the message of property, a property purchase or sale for many, but heed security concerns in any transactions. This is so funny. So there is definitely an element of home life that's coming through here for you guys, pile number one, or at least for some of you that are out here viewing this reading. There's for sure a message here about your physical home and your safety and your security. So it does look like for a few of you, that is something of significance with regard to this elevation that's in status here. We also have the message here of positive work outcomes. Consistent efforts will bring rewards and a major purchase is worth making. Do you notice how both of these cards talk about making a purchase of property, right? So for some of you that are out here uh, viewing this video, perhaps this elevation in status is giving you the means to be able to purchase a new home where you feel truly safe and protected. But this is also just speaking to the positive work outcomes leading to this elevation in status here. So there's a couple of messages coming through. I think um, some may resonate for all, you know, but there's certainly messages here about like physically where you're living as well as where you're working and elevating yourselves here. So let's go ahead and see. Hopefully you guys made it here till the end. Let's use the archer's answers to see if we can get a specific time frame of when you all can expect this blessing to come through. So we have the message here of as expected. Let's see. And then we have in your summer season. So as expected is kind of telling me that if this is something that you've been planning for a while, things will go as expected. Okay. Um, even if you haven't been planning it for a while, and this is just kind of the vibration that you're on, things will happen as expected, you know? But in your summer season is a time frame that's coming through for some of you. So the summertime, as I'm posting this video, the summertime is right around the corner. So regardless of when you're viewing this, um, this is a timeless reading. The summertime is going to be of significance of when this blessing is going to really come to fruition for you. So wherever you live, the summer season. <laughs> All right, you guys. Well, this is all that I have coming through for you with regard to your blessings. So excited for you. 
If you received this blessing, please let me know in the comments down below that you receive it. Let me know how this resonated with you. Thank you all for viewing this video and I will see you next time. Bye. Hey there, pile number two. So if you guys chose the pyrite crystal, let's go ahead and see what blessing is coming in for you. And please stay tuned until the end of this video because I am gonna be channeling time frames for you guys as well. But first let's get into what this blessing is. I'm gonna start with the center card here. And pile number two, you guys chose the message of the wealthy man. You didn't choose this. I mean, subconsciously you chose this, right? So the wealthy man, what is this telling me? So pile number two, the wealthy man symbolizes a, a lot of different things. So I'm going to share the messages I'm getting and you choose what pertains with you specifically. Intuitively, I'm feeling like the wealthy man for some of you all is somebody that's coming in to help you out with something. This is somebody who would have a lot of success under their belt, possibly an entrepreneur, somebody who is really great with their money, great with their finances, somebody who's in a position of power, who has a lot of connections, who has a lot of people in their network, um, who's going to be able to like lend you a helping hand or lend you a leg up on something that you're working on, okay? For others of you, I do feel that the wealthy man is symbolizing yourselves being in that position, right? So maybe achieving a specific financial success that you're wanting or learning about how to embody this energy. Um, somebody who has a lot of knowledge, a wealth of knowledge, an entrepreneurial spirit, um, somebody who's able to take risks. So take what resonates with you. For some people, this is someone that's coming in to assist you. For others, I feel like this is about you stepping into this energy or being able to achieve this energy of being an entre entrepreneur, having your finances together, um, having a business that's running successfully, things like that, okay? Let's see what comes through in the tarot cards next. So we have the message here of the high priestess, and then we also have the message here of the artist. Okay. I'll put these back. So I do feel, pile number two, this definitely is going to be a period of learning and sort of like taking in information for you once this blessing comes to fruition. So let's start here with the artist. The artist is kind of a, a one-off, like it's a special major arcana that's only in this specific tarot deck. They have a couple of extras in there. This card is really about creation. It's about tapping into knowledge that's already available to you. So I do think for some, this is about you tapping into your network here with this wealthy man. This is about you tapping into someone that you know can help you achieve the goal that you're wishing to achieve. This is also about creation and going after what you're feeling passionate about. So there is this energy of this entrepreneurial spirit coming forward here. I do feel for the majority of you, this is a business idea or something that's going to help you out all to make money. Um, and it's the artist is about our creative passions. It's about creating something, right? So this blessing is, is something that's coming through where you're going to be able to create. The high priestess, this is very intuitive. This is also about having the knowledge that you need to be successful. You notice how she's holding this book here? You know, she has all the knowledge that she needs and she's not necessarily always somebody who's like forthcoming about it. It's someone that's taking it in. It's someone that's kind of observing and watching and knowing inside that everything's gonna work out. So I do feel that when this blessing presents itself to you, you all are really being guided to tap into your intuition and to tap into that energy of sort of like leaning back and soaking it all in. So if this is somebody who's coming in trying to help you, it's important for you all to be in this, in this mindset of like, let me soak in all this information, let me learn. I don't wanna say be passive because I feel like that's the wrong word, but you guys get what I mean. This isn't like the time where you're needing to go out and be like really, you know, doing things, doing too much. You're guided to be leaning back and kind of soaking this energy in, okay? So let's see what else we get here with your oracle cards. So we have the message of destiny. We also have the message here of grace. Both of these cards, you guys, I just have to say, they are of like a blue-ish tint. And I do feel communication is going to be something that's very important during this time as well. For some of you, blue does have to do with our throat chakra. 
I'm getting some third eye energy from this as well. So again, tapping into your intuition and leading back and trusting the process is going to be very important when this blessing presents itself. This is someone that's coming through to help you guys like create something. This I feel like this is somebody who has like a network or the resources to help bump you up to where you want to go. Intuitively, I'm feeling like the majority of you guys are the creator. You guys are the artist. You guys are the, you know, the, what am I trying to say? Like you're the ones with the idea. And I do feel this is a person that's coming in to help. So we do have the message of destiny. So I feel like this person is probably going to like come across your path when you least expect it. I feel like this person is someone that, you know, the universe wants you to meet and will bring you two together in divine timing. And this is going to help you propel forward onto your path. We also have the message here of grace. So there is an element here of needing to make sure that you are of a forgiving energy with grace, whether this is forgiving yourself, um, being gentle with yourself, being gentle with yourself throughout this process. This is something, a skill that's going to be flexed quite a bit as you move through this blessing when it's presented to you. So let's tap into these little oracle cards. So we have the message of surprise. A disappointment will be followed by a pleasant surprise. An invitation could bring love to those searching. So maybe you guys have been struggling with this creative idea you've had for a little while. And I do feel that this help that's coming through will be very, you won't expect it. We also have perseverance. You may feel like you're getting nowhere, but there are wonderful changes ahead. Don't give up. So yeah. I think this is, again, just that message coming through with that high priestess of making sure that you are trusting in the process, trusting in yourself, and trusting that you're going to get where you need to go in that divine timing. So hopefully you guys made it till the end. Let's go ahead and see when we can expect this blessing to come through. Oh my gosh. So we have unexpectedly. That's come up a lot, you guys. So I do think that this is going to happen when you literally least expect it. So just keep living your life. You know, keep doing what you're doing. And in divine timing, the universe is going to present it, present this to you. Okay. We have release attachment. Very good. So yeah, there's a need here to release attachment to the specific outcome that you're wanting. So I would love to know what you guys are working on pile number two. Um, if it's been something that's been weighing heavily on you. Um, Either way, you are being guided to release attachment to it. Release attachment to it needing to look a specific way. Release attachment to, for it to like have a specific outcome. You know, all those nitty gritty details. This is really about you all being in flow when this support comes in for you. Not forcing anything, not being too particular, just soaking in that information and creating and being in flow. So this looks really exciting, pile number two. I would love to hear. I know we didn't get a specific time frame for you, but I think the reason why is because it's unexpected. <laughs> so let me know if you receive this blessing. Comment down below and let me know. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to view this video, and I'll catch you guys in the next reading. Bye. Hey there, group number three. So if you all chose the green pre-night crystal, let's go ahead and see what the next big blessing is that's coming through for you. Please stay tuned until the end, you guys, because I do have time frames of when you can expect this blessing to come through. But first let's focus on what the blessing is. And we're going to start here with the center card. And for you all, we have the blessing of community coming through. So community, you guys, this is beautiful. This has to do with, I feel, um, a support system or friendships. This is about you all having like that network, that community of people around you who are willing to assist, who are willing to help, who want to take you in, who accept you for who you are. Look at this, you guys. This is beautiful. Oop. If you look at this picture really closely, one thing that always stands out to me about this is that the people on the outside are kind of like, they're tattered, right? They look like they've been going through it a little bit. They've been going through a tough time, but they're being invited into this warm, comforting home. I don't know if it's a church or if it's a home or what it is intended to be, but if you guys have been going through a rough time recently, this is telling me that that's coming to an end very soon. You all are about to connect with people or places that are going to be able to bring you that source of comfort and happiness that you deserve. So let's look at your tarot messages and kind of get a little bit of a deeper insight here. 
Wow. Okay. So we have the messages of the three of cups and the ace of cups. You guys, this is beautiful. So I'm definitely picking up on a lot of heart chakra energy for you. Pile number three, you guys did pick the green stone, the prey night, which does have to do with the heart chakra. It's also a healing stone about healing yourself. Uh, maybe some of you guys that are out there are healers and this, this pre night is actually ideal for healing healers, <laughs> oddly enough. So yeah, the three of cups is just echoing that message of community. This is about new friendships, connections coming through for you. This could also be like a reconciliation of a community or friends or even a love interest for a few um, coming through in the near future here to help you out. And there's a lot of love overflowing here with this ace of cups. This is about new beginnings. This is about being free to speak how you genuinely and authentically feel inside and being able to love yourself and others. Um, this is beautiful, pile number three. You're going to have to let me know what's going on with you because it definitely feels like you all are definitely about to get some sort of beautiful support in your life and fun too. So we have the message of strength and then we have the message of health. Okay. Okay. Interesting. I will share you guys like definitely fun and love are coming through here with this community energy, but there is definitely this element of like maybe needing support that's also coming through. And that's very much further echoed here with these two cards that we just drew. So strength, this talks about stamina. This talks about feeling empowered. This is courage. This is support. So I definitely feel that you all connecting with this community is going to help support in some way. It's going to help you all to build up your strength, your stamina, um, your confidence even. This could have to do too, we have the health message coming out. So this could even have to do with like physical strength. So maybe some of you all are needing to improve in like your, your physical fitness and things like that. And this is a community to help support that. Um, this could also have to do with like mental health and just making sure you're taking care of yourself and having those beautiful, fun, loving connections in your life is so good for your mental health. You guys, like if you don't have people that you can really just let loose with and be yourself with and have a good time with, you know, and just kind of like talk about the day to day or forget about the day to day, right? It's not always good for your mental health to not have those connections. So I do see that whether it's physical health or mental health, there is this community that's supporting you um, when this blessing is presented, okay? Let's tap into your other messages. So we do have communication. A reunion could bring love or a rekindling of friendships. A lucky win seems likely. Yeah, so this is definitely, you know, communication will be of significance here. I was saying here at the beginning that there could be a reunion for some of you. But there's certainly a message of friendship that's being echoed here. And then we have sunshine. The sun is shining on you, on you. Career and business, growth, fabulous communication and relationships. So it does feel that there is an element of communication with this community blessing, pile number three, because both of these talk about communicating. So you may be getting to a space where with your community, maybe this is a current community you're already a part of here, where communication gets a little bit better. Communication becomes healthier, more str strong, streamlined, however you want to say. But it's also just a beautiful time where like with that sunshine energy, like you guys are just in a really, really positive space when you're surrounded by this community of people. So this is beautiful, pile number three. I hope you receive this. If you receive this blessing, comment below. <laughs> so let's go ahead and see what, what roundabout time frame we can expect this blessing to roll in for you. So we have the message of please move on. That's interesting. Okay. And we have this or next month. So definitely a specific time frame is coming in. So regardless of whenever you all are viewing this video, pile number three, this or next month is when this blessing is going to present itself to you. Okay. But there is a caveat here with please move on. So I do feel that if this is like people from your past that you're reconnecting with, if there was any old baggage, it's going to be very important for you to like release that and let it go um, for the health of the connections and for the health of yourself as well. Okay. For others of you, this could be a message here of needing to release something else in your life before this community can be presented to you. So whatever it is that's holding you back from maybe connecting with the type of people that you want, maybe you already have friendships and connections in your life that you feel you're not vibing with right now. When, whenever you all are moving away from that is when this new community is going to present itself to you. So 
I love this for you, pile number three. Please comment below and let me know how this blessing resonates with you. Thank you so much for taking the time to view today's video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.